38 of the 100 Day Project. Getting close to 40 days. I don't know. Seems significant. If this was Survivor, I would have one day left. And yeah. So, um, day 38. That's a long time. Anyways, so yesterday, uh, during question period at the House of Commons uh, in Canada, in case you're watching this elsewhere in the world, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was asked a question about access to abortion in rural Canada, saying when, are, when is he going to use the Affordable Care Act to fund abortion clinics? Prime Minister Trudeau responded by stating that his government would always defend the right of women to have an abortion, um, to which Manitoba MP Ted Falk, the, my member of parliament, apparently, uh, he yelled out, it's not a right. So he was basically saying it's not a right for women to have abortions. Uh, Ted Falk uh, has a, a track record of not representing all people in his constituency. Uh, he flat out refused to go to the Gay Pride Parade in Steinbeck, Manitoba, uh, even if his schedule didn't or like allowed him to go, he wouldn't attend, no matter what. Didn't, didn't matter. I'm not going, he says. Um, and now he is basically blasting uh, women's rights, just in general, a woman's right to choose. Uh, the, uh, the issue for me here is not abortion, access to abortion, or gay rights. That's an aside. Uh, the issue here is that Ted Falk is using his position to impose his own moral agenda and viewpoint. Uh, he shouted out of turn um, when he should have been listening. If he had something to say, he should have raised his hand. I'd tell my students, if you have something to say, raise your hand. I don't know how they do it in Parliament. Raise your hand. Make a... Make a point that is logical and and present some evidence, not just blurt out, it's not a right, in the middle of nowhere. So he has, he's using his position to impose his own moral agenda. It is not the place for government and those who hold office within government to take a stance on moral issues. Um... Solely because not everybody that is represented believes the same thing. Uh, furthermore, regarding abortion laws, in Canada there are no laws about or regarding abortion. Therefore, it is legal within Canada. And therefore, a woman, if she chooses, has the right to go and have an abortion in Canada. So Ted Falk is directed at you, it is a right. It is a right for a woman to go and have a medical procedure if she deems that necessary. Um, and these comments by Ted Falk, my MP, do not represent me and a lot of people that I, that I know. So I have written a poem in response and I'm not going to get very political very often, but when the fire lights within me, you're going to hear some, some political speak. So I have written a response to Ted Falk. Um, it's, uh, this poem is called, It's Not a Right, or Hashtag Not My MP. It's not a right for those in power to use their position to promote their own agendas. It's not a right for those in power to use their platform to prophesize. It's not a right for those in power to exercise, to not exercise common sense and decency. It's not a right for those in power to promote themselves. Dear, dis, honorable member, it is a right for you to think what you want to think. It is a right for you to believe what you want to believe. It's a right for me to think what I want to think, and it's a right for me to believe what I want to believe. But it is also a right for every person in Canada to choose to do what they want with their own bodies. It is also a right for every person in Canada to seek medical procedures they feel are necessary. 
It is also a right for every person in Canada to be represented in Parliament. Or are we no longer the true North, strong and free? Hashtag not my MP. So there we go. That's my message to you, Ted Falk. Uh, before opening your mouth in public, uh, maybe you should think first um, before you choose to promote your own agenda and your own morality um, while claiming to represent everybody within the in your writing. So that's uh, my rant for today. Day 38 of the 100 Day Project. We'll see you tomorrow for day 39, um, where probably we'll be a little bit more lighthearted and not quite so politically charged. All right. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye.